Hello and welcome back to another episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. One second, let me get set up here. There we go. Alright, so now that's over with. Thankfully I did all my equipping last segment, so this time I don't have to do any. Hello, dog. Man's best friend. I get. Oops, uh. Yikes, uh. I better be more careful than that. I think I hit it. I should have, anyway. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I should have been more careful with the text there. I might have accidentally failed to skip it or something. And again, I'm not. Just like that incident in South Figure, I'm actually not certain if there was an extra line of dialogue added. And I never got this chest in my test run because I wasn't thinking, so. I don't even know what's in there. Could be anything, really. Maybe it's a star pendant like I'm thinking the original was, and I'm not even sure on that. One, two, three. I think that there's actually a small chance that this soldier here can catch me, but I consider the odds of that happening kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I, I made it to the Leo cutscene. So now he says a whole bunch of stuff I'm not going to get to see until I uh, watch this later. Anytime now, Leo. You're cool and all, but you're a lot more cool when I can actually see you. Here we go. Yep, so now I've entered the one with Kefka, and all Kefka needs is a slap to the face and he leaves, so... I don't care if you're poisoning people, make it quick. <laughs> Any second now. Usually when I say any second now, I can say right on cue afterwards, but... That time I messed it up. Oh yeah, and uh, they're still both mapped to the same uh, <laughs> controller. Whatever, I don't need that much help in determining who's Sabin and who's Shadow. Just like in the other segment, where they were both mapped to player 1 instead of player 2. Go down and talk to Kefka. And by go down, I mean go around, down and around that fence so that I don't end up... Uh, Left to the boxes. Down one this time. No, no trying to talk to boxes this time. I don't think I'll hurt their feelings by going. I don't know if you look like a waiter or not, Kefka, because, you know, I can't see you. Shouldn't make fun of blind people like that. So now I just gotta walk up on the left a bit until I get into the encounter with Telstar. The most challenging part of this segment, but not quite as luck-reliant as the LLG. I'll start with a smoke ball. 
I mean, smoke bomb because that's obviously not a ball. Gotta remember to use suplex and not aura bolt because in my test run I kept using aura bolt. So now I want to use the shuriken. But I want to make sure to use it on Telstar. There's no point in multi-targeting a shuriken yet. Oh no, shockwave already. That's kind of bad news. I'm just gonna keep hoping, going and hope that I don't get a patch of bad luck. Thanks Interceptor, that's a nice thought. Okay good, he hit Telstar. Oh no, that's bad. Shadow's not dead, that's good. Telstar's dead. Yeah, it's looking like Sabin died. Again. Okay, it's not looking like Sabin died again. I'll just have Shadow finish off whatever's left. And there we go. Telstar defeated, and I get my Spirit Claw. Let's heal up while I'm still in the item menu, shall I? They both needed two, so the damage must have been split up kind of nicely. I bet that Shockwave hit Sabin and stuff. Equip? I don't need to do anything else in the menu with this segment, so if I mess this up, who cares? Equip. Spirit Claw. I think I got it. Don't really care. Alright, uh, Safety Glove. It might be useful. I'll figure out what to do with that in the Barrier Cube later. I don't need to pile it onto this segment. The segment isn't hard from here on in, but... The next segment is probably gonna be... I haven't decided what yet whether I'm just going to stop before entering the Phantom Forest. Uh, it's kind of silly. I think I'll probably go through the Phantom Forest next segment. That overworld trek should be really, really short. one, all the way down. Now I've got to go around the bend here, go around the railing. But even that's not quite good enough, because I've still got to go around this railing as well. And now I should get into a battle. Here we go. And this battle, the strategy is kind of complex. It's called Ignore Seven. It's called shurikens to the face. And everybody dies. And because Shadow's a boss, he's probably not even going to get hit. Those multi-target shurikens are really nice coming through here. Definitely worth the money, especially before I get Cyan to have an extra attacker. I'll probably be able to time Mind Blow on the Phantom Train to get it down fairly consistently. I mean, after all, I was able to, like... I don't rem when, when did I seriously try this? But I remember I was able to get sets of slots blindfolded, but I have no idea why I could possibly have wanted to use sets of slots blindfolded before. I could get it in vanilla, at least. In Brave New World, it's not gonna happen. It's not like I was getting Joker Doom or anything, it was just... Chocobop slash 7 flush. This is poison! Guard our leash! And no, I didn't bother memorize any, memorizing any dialogue 
just to spout it at random moments like that. And half of it's probably vanilla dialogue rather than Brave New World dialogue. If I do happen to say anything. And of course, there's always going to be the odd occasion where I'll probably just make something up out of the blue. Just like with that suit of armor in the Returner's Hideout. Yeah, that was, like, pretty... I have no clue. <laughs> I don't even know. And I don't need to use the menu trick here because of the music change. So I just gotta head straight on out, but I don't need to be out here staring at all the dead guys in poisoned water. Just gotta keep going up and right until I hear that nice... bat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. All the way up. The nice thing about this segment is that even though it's kind of twisted and there's battles and it's kind of long, I get lots of feedback like every two seconds on what I'm doing. So if I make a mistake, I mean, I actually have managed not to make a single mistake yet in either segment. I really shouldn't jinx myself like that, but I haven't. The scene is a little less sad when you can't see it. You, you you can kind of think of what's happening, but... There's my cyan fighting noises. One, two, three, four. Alright, now I can kind of just imagine... Shadow and Savin just sitting back and eating some popcorn here. <laughs> I'm just gonna let Cyan do everything. He gets rehealed after every battle, and like other two characters are just sitting there defending. Shadow is ridiculous evades, so. Yeah, I'll just let Cyan do it. And that guy's dead. Very painfully, I presume. And that's what I was waiting for. Unfortunately, uh, one guy still made it. Does have somewhat of a miss rate, but... At least I can't mess up anything this way. <laughs> and I don't have to waste shurikens. I mean... Like, I can always just have shadow hit stuff, but... That'll come next segment, where I've got counter-attacks to deal with, and I've gotta be careful about what I use during each battle. Ah, uh, he made it, again. You know what? I'm gonna punch your face. Dang it, Shadow went first. And Seven was probably blinded by Shockwave because he was the one who probably got hit by it, so I probably should have seen that coming. There was only one missed noise, so I figured there was only one left. One, two... Subtract two each time. And I'll just have Cyan do the honors again for the most part. When there's more enemies on the field, Science Cleave is going to be more useful. When there's only one left, I might as well just start attacking. A 
Who's that car noise from? Maybe I said seven to attack by accident. Shouldn't. Hopefully it won't matter anyway. Cyan should hopefully just cleave them all to death this time. Yeah, I didn't realize how long this would take when I did it in fast forward, but whatever. Uh, what? Oh, right. Hey, there's that spirit claw coming in handy. Can the soldiers be imped? I don't know. I mean, I, it's not like I've ever worked up the gumption to try that before. And yes, I just said gumption. I should have made some real popcorn for this, so that I could join Sabin and Shadow in their popcorn-eating escapades. Oh, that guy died. Painfully again. It's almost 11 o'clock. Well, at least for me. In the game world, it's always 6 o'clock with 10 minutes and 50 seconds. Now it's time to die. That's all of them. And now I get my awesome sauce magic tech armor. Which allows me to murder everything in one hit easily. But then again, I was kind of already doing that, so... Yeah. It would have been helpful for Telstar, I guess. <laughs> Bolt beam to the face. Done! Lots of running around, and the best part is, I don't even have to do it. Oh, whoops. I accidentally hit the fast forward button. It kinda sucks, cause now when I- I'll have to resync the audio at that point, but... Whatever. Alright. Alright, I'm in the Magitek menu, so this is Cyan. Oh wait, they, they were all on fight, so they should all be ready to go. Pretty sure heal force was down here. Maybe it was over here? If not, I'll just fry an enemy, which works too. Might as well take the free heal so while I have them. Oh no, don't tell me someone died from that just before I get all my free heals off. Nope. I'll have you heal yourself again. This battle's not that hard anyway. I'll probably kill it before... One, two, all the way right, all the way down. I'll just select left with all of them so that whichever people are on heal force will move over to fire beam. And this battle's a piece of cake, obviously, just like 
all the other ones match the karma because I'm just one hit KOing everything. So there's really not much to say. Alright, one step over because I didn't go far enough during the cutscene. All the way up. Left one, and up and straight out. Did something actually not die from a fire beam? No wait, I hadn't used a fire beam yet. <laughs> Face palm. And I'm out of here. This time I know what went wrong with my earlier runs, so I know to walk around that barrier before I try to take a step right. And now I hear, well, pretend I'm listening to dialogue that actually makes sense. Because this dialogue does make sense now, but I can't actually see it. Um, I'm on item. Or I'm not on item. Alright. Oh, Derp. There we go. Nice to have a Brave New World segment that doesn't go horribly